Libra, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 7th to the 13th of November 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Alright, Libra. Threw them down on the table. I love this. You get number 13, Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. You cannot get much more independent than a cat. <laughs> it's like <laughs> when they want you, they want you, but um, every other, other time, uh, nah. <laughs> they want their food, they want their cuddles, and then it's like, right, now my, me time. But claim your independence there's things here that you may be able to step up and do and um, sometimes that even starts off a whole new journey in itself all right libra Overall, Seven of Pentacles. You are working your butt to the bone. Okay, working hard to keep everything together, to also claim some independence maybe here, but also as one thing starts to fall out of place, you get that sorted out, but then that has a flow on effect of knocking a few other pieces out of place that need looking after. And it's a constant revolving door there. But you're willing to put the hard work in to get some results that work in your favor. Past energies, you had the Prince of Wands, the High Priestess, the Hierophant. You had focus on the past, where you were heading, even though your guard was up a little bit, possibly from something further back here, or maybe from some peer pressure being put on you to do things in someone else's way. Cat Spirit starts to kick into gear right there and claim your independence, speak up, let your voice be heard, because you have your own focus of where you want to be. Present energies, Nine of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Core of your reading, I could pick it up <laughs> even. Okay, patience is a virtue. I'm not a very patient person, so sometimes that's easier said than done. Things are moving at a snail's pace energy. There's success there right in front of you, but it seems to be like the Seven of Pentacles. Every time you sort something out and go to grab that um, final Tenth Pentacle, Something else falls out of place that needs looking after first. So it's a bit of a slow moving energy at present to get some results, to get that success. It may be something that's holding you back as simple as, I'm going to say, a grudge or waiting for an apology that may never ever arrive. And this is claiming some independence as well, shifting that focus around, having a whole new path to focus on. And again, patience though with that Prince of Pentacles there. Future energies, Princess of Wands, Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. Still very compassionate and giving with your time here, with your energy. You're willing to share your ideas and dreams with someone else here. That focus you have is all about moving towards those goals. They don't usually just land in front of you. But you are proud of how far you've come emotionally. But um, no matter what, Cat Spirit, claim your independence. Seven of Pentacles, putting in that hard work there and two of wands keep moving towards those goals and get your successful outcome right libra let's clarify everything you get the king of wands the emperor three of cups Love that divine masculine energy, very confident, very brave, very level headed and logical here. You know what you want, who you want and where you want to be. And with that hard work and that being in control of the situation, you're getting your successful outcome and you'll have something to celebrate right there. Crack open the champagne, I say, but also claiming your independence maybe, and you are celebrating that. Past energies, Libra, Prince of Wands. 
You have the Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. You're very focused on love in the past, on one particular love here. You weren't shifting your focus around very much to see what else was happening around you. But it, there was this whole different approach that you took towards this love, whether it was you offering that cup of love, whether someone was coming in and offering that to you. It was pretty clear and upfront what you wanted or possibly who you wanted back there in the past. The High Priestess, Libra. Yet the Five of Wands, the Fool, the World. A bit of drama, a bit of conflict and disagreements here back in the past, but it felt like you were sick and tired of the drama that was going on and on and on and on. Maybe claiming some independence, but you decided now is the moment to take a leap of faith and see where this other journey does take you. You had the backing of the world, um, divine timing, and that moment felt right to take that leap of faith right there. That could have been around love, it may have been around work, it may have been around home. And you have the Hierophants. You have the Tower, look at these Arcana cards, Justice and the Seven of Wands. Love that. Knowing what to let go of and what to keep here to build something solid. Persistence, not giving up, not quitting, pays off in the end with that sweet justice. That result working in your favour. Maybe legal, maybe monetary, it doesn't have to be, but that persistence was there. You were not giving up on something or someone in the past and that sweet justice did arrive. Alright, Libra, present energies. Nine of Pentacles. Got through them everywhere. <laughs> Yet the Nine of Cups, Strength, Knight of Wands. Yeah, everything seems to be there for the taking. I always say take it with both hands and run with it. There's emotional happiness here. There's claiming that independence with that Nine of Pentacles and Cat Spirit, but it takes strength to do this at times. It could be dealing with a Leo. It's easier said than done. But you do have this focus on where you're heading and no matter what gets thrown at you to try and throw you off this course, especially just clarifying that Hierophant, feel like you've got, you're sticking to your guns here. You've got that determination, that confidence to see this journey through and to reach your 10th pentacle, to reach your 10th cup. And there we go, I do throw them around. Prince of Pentacles, the core of your reading, Libra. Death. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. It is being able to close one chapter off, turn the page and focus on what lies ahead. You are proud of how far you've come. It's been a long journey to get here, but you've got these results, you've got these achievements and also stability and commitment. Maybe that is what you're heading towards as you turn that next chapter. Could be a marriage proposal, moving in together, maybe meeting somebody initially. Um, could be buying a home, getting a job, buying a car, bringing stability, commitment around home and family life. But um, you are ready to close one door and open the other door and see where it leads you. And look at that, into the Ace of Wands, this whole brand new focus. You get the devil, the moon, the lovers. Super energy with the three arcana cards right there. Could be dealing with Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini. Okay, but this grudge that you're holding or waiting for this apology, it's negative energy that is holding you back from being able to clearly refocus on where you want to be heading. There is love here, soulmate twin flame, somebody significant. Again, it may be an existing relationship, somebody brand new. But this moon's given you a lot more clarity to be able to have this new focus, to, um, and it may be someone, but also to see the negative energy that it is actually holding you back here and being able to start to release yourself from that toxic energy with the devil that you feel stuck and bound to there. So Libra, future energies, you get the Princess of Wands, 
You get the Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Four of Swords. Teamwork, partnership, collaboration. This may be with somebody significant to build a solid foundation from the ground up. Willing to share your ideas when it's coming to a bit of a crossroads energy. Not sure which way to go here. It's just taking a step back, doing some healing, looking after number one, taking some time to gather your thoughts. And then coming out of that with your Three of Pentacles energy, stepping up, taking the lead, but putting some solid plans into place. I'm going to say together partnership queen of cups libra you get the seven of pentacles ten of pentacles eight of swords so there's your ten of pentacles with that seven of pentacles you have overall we talked about the nine over here going into the tenth pentacle so that hard work that you continue to put in here pays off here's that tenth pentacle that success happy family life, things are falling into place. It may be getting a job promotion, claiming some independence um, here. There's other ways around things when things do seem to block your way from moving forward. It could be this crossroads energy, it could be this negative energy back here. But taking that blindfold off, finding other ways around things, always say legally and morally, and that hard work, you come out with that success right there. Right, two of wands to finish, Libra. <coughs> Throat's very dry. <clears throat> Sometimes it also means something needs to be said. Six of wands, the star, knight of swords, victory. There is ultimate victory here. Your dreams may be coming to life here could be dealing with an Aquarius it just still means slowing things down that core of your reading with the Prince of Pentacles not rushing into things thinking things through carefully here but those dreams and wishes and hopes you can claim that victory and take it with both hands and run with it so Libra love that let's see what the universe has to say Six of Wands, <laughs> the Chariot, Princess of Cups. There is victory here, possibly when it comes to love. Um, could be a younger energy, a child, a pet, it doesn't have to be. It may be somebody significant. Able to balance this Chariot out and to get things moving forward. Balanced energy that does move forward there with the two of you. Okay, could be dealing with Cancer here, but you know where this Chariot's going. Claiming your independence, you may still be in control of the reins here, but that victory is yours to claim, and that chariot does gain some momentum and start to pick up the pace right there. So Libra, that is what I have for you. Do hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.